I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A hard to miss landmark on the north side of Indianapolis is being demolished to make way for another road construction project. The seven story Carvana vetting machine is being torn down for the new I-465 and I-69 interchange. State officials say the current interchange is at capacity. The $435 million clear path project will add lanes, reconfigure the interchanges and separate interstate and local traffic. Basically, everyone just needs to plan ahead. You know what's coming. We've been very clear it's coming. Um, but if you travel that way, you know, plan your route. Look at those different restrictions. They are going to change as we move through this project. The state bought the right of way where Carvana stood, which allowed NDOT to take the private property for public use. The mayor of Fishers is concerned that more people are renting rather than buying in the city. According to a recent housing analysis that was presented to the Fisher City Council, 30% of all rental units in Fishers are single family homes. The analysis also showed more out of town investors and national rental companies are managing rental units in Fishers. The mayor is concerned because he says out of state investors don't hold the same interest in the community as homeowners who live full time there. Oftentimes, <clears throat> these people who own these homes from the East Coast or West Coast don't care whether they're maintained well or not. They just want people to pay their rent uh, and then they'll sell the asset at some point and not really take care of the home in the way that I think most residents would want to see if you've invested in a home right next to it. The mayor plans to work with homeowners associations to limit the number of rental properties that are allowed in neighborhoods and subdivisions. He hopes this will curb the number of out-of-state investors renting local properties.